This is Dominique Finney and I'm with the National Herbalist Association of Australia Sydney Seminar Series and with me I have a fabulous herbalist from Poland who isn't the first generation in her family to be a herbalist, Dunita Harajko. Welcome. Hi. And can you tell me your dad was a herbalist too, was he? Yes, that's correct. He was self-taught herbalist yeah. and he was part of our life using fresh or dry herbs, treating uh, various conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, we never use any other modality to treat. That's fabulous. And for the last 15 years you've been practicing as a herbalist. Yeah. What are you doing in your work? Well, uh, I became fascinated uh, with herbal medicine. Uh, this is probably was my favorite modality. And I manufacture a lot of my own uh, fluid extracts mm -hmm. of herbs and I have really excellent results. Uh, with, uh, I've manufactured a very large number of, uh, of tinctures and probably one of my uh, favorite herbs, which probably first time I've started to manufacture was actually Sage. It wasn't, it wasn't Savio officinalis, herbs used uh, traditionally for menopause, but it was actually purple sage. I don't mm -hmm. know the common name. You can put it actually in salad. It's got this other name is pineapple sage. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't having great results with treating hot flashes with traditional fruit extracts. So I've advised patients just chop leaves of purple sage, picked in my front yard from my garden, infused in lemon juice, and drink it next morning and I had results like within three days. Mm. So that was beginning like awakening, you know, it's with that action. So then I started manufacturing my own, uh, you know, grow salvia officinalis in manufacturing mm -hmm. my ex extracts and really having results from now I don't use any other sage and this is how it evolved in my interest. But other aspect which I would like to talk about if I grow herbs or even wildcraft, I can connect to this energy of those herbs and perhaps intuitively know the healing properties. Mm. Something if I buy in a ready prepared bottle in a tablet, I think that connection is sort of lost. Absolutely, yeah. And that's the beauty of being a herbalist is that we are able to make our own medicines and I just love the way that you're using fresh herbs. Do you grow the herbs in your garden? Yeah, I grow Melissa, one wood. I, I have probably about 50. It's mostly baby and garden. It's 50 medicinal plants. Great. Whereabouts are you based? Where do you live? Uh, my clinic is at Menai, yeah. uh, which is Sutherland Shire area. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Um, have you got a favourite herb you want to talk to us about? Uh, my favourite herb is uh, probably, I have a lot of favourite herbs. Mm -hmm. My, my favourite herb is probably olive leaf extract. Oh, Olea Eurypia. Lovely. It's antimicrobial. Yeah. How are yeah. you, you're extracting the fresh leaf? No, I don't, but I believe it's just, if you look at olive leaf, you can say this energy, you know, not only, if you look at the concept of olive as a, as a fruit, if you look at olive oil mm -hmm. properties, if you look, look at the tree, this Asian property, this almost biblical property. So olive leaf has this, it's antimicrobial, antiparasitic, antioxidant, mm. lowest blood pressure. It's probably, if I was to be casted on, on an island, if I would take that herb with me. <laughs> That's the one you take. That's the one you would take. Because it's just so old. Yeah. And when you mention the oldness yeah. of the herb, the ancientness, yeah. that ties in with your love of energetics of medicine too. Ab absolutely, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because it's just that energy with the fresh herb, I believe it's locked. The connection, the love with which those remedies are mean, being made, not going through various processing equipment. Mm -hmm. Also the love and intention which where practitioner makes this from the scratch to the end, as well as when dispensing mm. those herbs remedies. Yeah, I believe this is something more that, you know, in that herb that actually, you know, this active constituents. Great. And tell me, how have you enjoyed the seminar series this weekend? Yeah, that was uh, uh, great. Unfortunately, this is what I've heard, but unfortunately, I, I was uh, having my own expo at the Body, Mind, Spirit Festival. Oh, was it enjoyable? Yeah, that, that was, yeah. yeah, that was, uh, I had a stand with my business, so great. It, was, it was very good. Excellent. Do you have a website? Yeah, I've got a website, yeah, www.dh-naturalmedicineclinic.com.au. Beautiful. And you're a member of the National Herbalist Association yeah. of Australia. Yeah, How absolutely. long have you been a member? Yeah, well, I've been uh, probably since day one, probably in the the last uh, I think 20 years and I really enjoyed 
Uh, I've been part of uh, actually National Herbalist Association mm-hmm. Week yeah. when I was talking about culinary use of herbs. Great. I really enjoyed doing this and I believe mm. people, other people too. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. My for pleasure, your time. Dominique. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.